सो हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल सी हाउ टू शो एन इमेज थमनेल ऑफ अ यूट्यूब वीडियो यूजिंग पी एच पी जस्ट बाई यूजिंग इट्स यू आर एल एंड ऑल्सो वी कैन डाउनलोड दैट इमेज थमनेल सो हियर इज माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड हियर इज वन ऑफ द वीडियो ऑफ विच आई वॉन्ट द थमनेल सो इन द यू आर एल बार आई एल सिलेक्ट द यू आर एल एंड कॉपी इट एंड देन आई एल गो टू द अवर यू आई एंड देन आई एल पेस्ट इट हियर सो आई एल रिमूव द एवरी पार्ट आफ्टर द एंड that is not necessary so the part after the v equals to here this is the video id which is very necessary so when i click submit so here you can see the thumbnail image has been shown so if i right click on the thumbnail image i can see save image as so i can click on that i can save the image and see the image has been saved so this is how we can see the thumbnail of any youtube video and then we can also download that so today we will see how to make this kind of using php so let's start so we will start coding so first of all we will make our form so i'll open the form tag then i'll mention the method here that is post and i'll give the action which is none and then here i'll give an input field input type will be text the name will be url and if you want you can give a placeholder like enter the url here so i'll give enter url here and then i'll give a button which is an input button or you can say submit button the type will be submit and the name also i'll keep it as submit so our form is ready the next step is that what will happen when the user enters the url and then presses the submit button so i'll give the php here so the first step will be if and then is set and then i'll give a variable called dollar underscore post and the name will be submit so submit for the submit button which we have made and then in here i'll give the code what will happen when the submit is placed or pressed so i'll give a variable url which is equal to dollar underscore post and it will store the value of the url which you will get from this here the input text area so it will take the values from the text area url and store it in a variable called dollar url then we will get get a value variable and we will use an explode function and then we will give a parameter v equals to so remember in the url we had a portion v equals to and then we will save it uh, what we will do is we will explode function we will use the explode function on the dollar url variable so what this explode function will do it will split the url into two parts the first part will be everything before the v equals to sign and then the second part will be everything after the v equals to sign so after the v equals to sign we get the video id which is very important for getting the thumbnail so explode function as the name suggests it will explode or split the url into two parts and then to get the value of the second part i'll write or i'll give a video id video id variable and then i'll store the value of the id that is dollar value which is this variable and then i'll give a array that is 1 and then i'll store the second part that is value then 1 so first part is value 0 and the second part is value 1 so i'll store the value 1 which will be the id in the video id variable so this is our php part when the user presses the submit button our next task is to display the thumbnail image so what we'll do in this php we'll first check if the video id is empty or not so if video id is not empty then i'll use a function called empty and then in the variable i'll give dollar video id which is this and then i'll check if it's not empty and then give a opening bracket i'll remove this and then 
will use the HTML IMG tag to display the image that is IMG the source will be HTTP s colon double slash IMG dot YouTube dot com which is a website from where we can generate the thumbnails slash vi slash and then we'll get or we'll place the the id the url and the id which we get from the url so the id is very necessary as i mentioned before so this id will be used here so i'll echo the video id here i'll close the php tag and then i'll give an against a slash and then i write hq d e f a u l t dot jpg which is high quality default jpg image we can also write mq default dot jpg which is medium quality and sd default dot jpg which is standard quality so these are the different qualities in which we can get then i'll mention a width which can be 250 pixels or we can just mention it 250 and then i'll close the if tag which we started so I'll close this and our code is ready and we are ready to run this code so we are ready to run so I'll open the file so this is our file and if I want to get the thumbnail of this video let's say then I'll get the URL from here I'll paste the URL here the portion after the end is not necessary so I'll remove that and when I press the submit button and see here I get the thumbnail so if I open it in a new tab then I can see the bigger part or a bigger image of the same thumbnail and if I right click I can save the image also or copy image or copy image address so this is how we can get the thumbnails from any YouTube video thanks for watching